Hey miners, Mining King here. Today, we're gonna be tossing the salad again. So, let's get right into it. So, today we're gonna be talking about uh, salad and we're gonna be talking about some of the hardware that your guys are gonna need when it comes to salad, right? I think this is like a good prep point before I come out with like a uh, installation video, which they have actually a good installation video on salad.com. As well as if you guys are interested in joining Salad, I do have a promo code right here on the screen. It is KING, K-I-I-N-G, all capitals. Uh, it doesn't cost you guys anything. It just, it actually helps me and you earn double rewards for just a small amount of time. So it's actually just, it just helps us both out. So, all right, back to the video. Um, so... What let's get into actual, um, you know, motherboards and CPUs and things like that. Like, what can we use now? <clears throat> can we use mining hardware like a money motherboard that has like times one slots and like risers and things like that? Answer gonna be no, right? Now, you are gonna need this is going back to AI compute now, so you are gonna need a um, something that has a full actual lane speed. Um, there still hasn't been any testing through VMs and PCIe pass through through like Proxmox, right? And actually building like a Proxmox and having multi GPUs with multi VMs and stuff like that. I'm waiting for Max Voltage to come out with that video, Max. So, um, but what would what are some ideal things to use? Well, you could just use an old Dell computer, right? Um, now. Granted, the older you go in generations, as far as Intel and AMD, the uh, the PCIe generation will get will be older as well. Like you don't you don't want to run Gen two. Um, Gen three is okay and is acceptable. And I actually have a forty seventy and a thirty sixty on there, making great money. My forty seventy is making about uh, you can see right here about four dollars and seventy cents. Um, a day so it's actually doing quite well so to me i feel like these older dell workstations if you can find them for the right price like i did i got a bunch of them really cheap and i was selling them as ai workstations i used a lot of them and stuff like that so that was a really good deal right <laughs> Some of these deals are going to be really hard to come by because you're going to have to know somebody that liquidates computer hardware. And usually those people are selling it for a premium. So it's, it's a rare find to, you know, to find something like that. Like I did now, the best next place to go, if you're looking to build this on a budget, right, is going to be actually going to the BC PC shop link down below. Um, I have an affiliate link through Brandon. It doesn't cost you guys anything. If you guys just use my link, it, I just get a small kickback. Um, and it also lets Brandon know, like, you know, who's using my link. So um, he actually has um, actual Xeon motherboard combos with RAM for really, really great prices here, guys. Be sure to go check these out. These are really great affordable options if you're trying if you're thinking about getting into salad right it doesn't it's it, it's under 200 bucks it's extremely affordable and it gets your foot in the door earning salad don't be afraid to use maybe some older hardware maybe you have like a b450 laying around or like a 10th gen intel use what you guys have at home first before you go buy stuff right i'm only recommending you buy something if you don't already have something right if you have something at home and it's a Gen 3 or Gen 4, you know, you know, slot on the motherboard, then by all means, use that first, right? 
Um, preferably, they would like at least, I'm going to say, eight threads. So it needs to be four cores and eight threads. Now, they are increasing from what I hear. They're going to be increasing the, I think the maximum threads is 16, which would be eight cores and 16 threads. And I think they're going to bump it up to 12 or 24. So this way, those 5,900Xs and stuff like that could fully be utilized, right? So you want at least eight threads for your CPU. Um, now let's get into actual RAM. Now, this is... This is just my personal opinion, and what I've seen um, here on Salad is going to be this. They run these in a, um, you know, in WSL as a Dockerized container. The container has to load on your system and then run, right? Now, I've noticed that they don't all the way utilize all the RAM like to like 95% or something like that. So, and I think there's like a sliding graph of, how you know customers choose their ram and you know what what's an acceptable level that they want to run with right so to me if you want to get the big containers that actually pay you decent amount like i'm making two dollars and thirty cents on a 3060 four dollars and seventy cents on my 4070 you know like around six dollars on my 4090s the thing that that i've learned so far is is that you need a good amount of ram now I had a RAM stick die, which, and I had a, a four DIM kit for 64 gigs, right? So that means that it's 48 gigs, right? I wasn't getting the big containers anymore, even though it would only push the memory up to like 32 to 37 gigs overall, and that's including operating Windows. I noticed that it wouldn't pick up those big container jobs. And it could be because maybe there's a presetting in Salad for either 32 or 64, and because I'm somewhere in the middle, it seemed that it kicked me downwards to the 32. So then I was only getting like containers that are like in the 20 to like 24 gig range, and I was make I was only making like three dollars and fifty cents on my 4090. So RAM is extremely extremely important when it comes to salad, as well as I believe. Um, that they should be actually going up to, you know, bigger containers here soon, like 50 gigs. So we may even need to get up to maybe 128 gigs of RAM in the future, right? So my personal recommendation would be to get at least 64 gigs of RAM. This way you guys could actually work the biggest containers possible, which will then make you the most revenue, right? Um, so next subject is going to be graphics cards, right? That's going to be the big question because <laughs> not everybody can go buy 4090s and, and everything like that. And I get it. Everybody has different financial situations. But to me, um, currently right now, um, they are not supporting older GPUs or GPUs that are below uh, 12 gigs of VRAM. So 3070s, 3070Ti's, um, you know what I mean? 2060s, 2070s super stuff, all, all that older stuff that's below eight gigs. Don't bother. It's not worth your time to put it on salad. And I've, I've been using a 4060, which is eight gigs of VRAM and it has an even a container and it has 32 gigs of RAM. Um, so it could be a RAM issue or it could be the VRAM, but, um, I have gotten a few errors where it says, there's not enough VRAM to actually run the container load. So to me, I feel like since I've had that error once or twice already, that the eight gigs are getting phased out. And that's, and you gotta, you guys gotta remember that we're talking about, you know, doing compute jobs for people. So VRAM is literally one of the most important things um, about AI compute. So the more the better. So to me, the lowest card, you guys could get on a budget, that would be good. I know there's some 2060 12 gig variants, but I don't believe that they currently support that right now. The lowest card you're gonna wanna get into is gonna be a 3060 12 gig, right? Now, I am testing a few GPUs that I did recently buy because I've been watching other people and I've, and I've seen some revenue numbers and there's actually a GPU that's actually really, really good. It's priced very low. And it has a very high amount of VRAM. 
If you want to learn what GPU that is and some of these other secrets that I don't share on my videos, be sure to go join my Kingsman YouTube membership and I share these tips in the Discord. So these are just some of the, uh, I guess, this is going to be a good starter point for you guys of what type of hardware that you guys actually need to go find and you know what what gear to look for maybe you have some at home maybe you have another computer laying around maybe you know you might not have that much ram you might have to go buy that you know you might have to go buy ram now that being said though you don't have to buy the highest speed ram you don't have to buy the most expensive stuff to get into here right so like i said if you're on a budget and you're looking for a good system right be sure to like i said to go check out the bcpc shop uh, link down below. All right, guys, this is Monikin giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.